this flat has made me, I don't know what it is, I quite, somebody said in one of the comments, Joe, you are behaving differently now you're in this flat. And I think the reason is, it's far more exposed than when I was upstairs. Oh, good morning. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am, um, I'm actually rubbing a, an electric toothbrush over my lips. Thank you for all your comments. Last week, I seriously, I never take offense at what you leave. Last week, somebody, one of you, I, forgive me if I've gotten your name, was talking about how I shouldn't be wearing dark lipstick because, hold on a moment, I need to get my ring. I hate not having my ring. Oh. Um, it's weird, isn't it? I feel naked without my ring on. Um, yeah, so somebody said, Joe, don't wear the dark lipstick. It goes into all the dry channels on your lips, which come with old age. And she said to me, get an electric toothbrush, or get a toothbrush, and exfoliate your lips, which I have been doing. And it is really good advice, and thank you very much. Please keep leaving your comments. I love the way we've just sort of started a community of tips, beauty tips. There are quite a few criticisms, but they make me laugh, so don't worry. Listen, I can take it on the chin. Talking of chins, you're probably wondering what this is. So this is an LED light uh, for my neck and my decolletage, look at that. And I can just walk around with it on. I do it 10 minutes, two or three times a week. Um, and the LED, lots of people have these masks, they go to beauty therapists and have them on their face. Um, red light treatment, I think it's called. Well, uh, current body, do one for the neck and the decolletage. It's really simple and you can just do 10 minutes a day and let's hope, oh gosh, it, let's hope it'll contribute to the old turkey neck and also for my decolletage, which has had an awful lot of sunbathing on it as well. Anyway, listen, let's press on. I am going to go, sorry, the camera's wobbling because I'm banging the table. I'm about to leave to meet my producer, Amy, because this was very interesting. Last week, I put on my vlog part of a walk that I'd done in Marylebone that is a guided walk around Marylebone. And loads of you commented on it, how you don't live in London, you live abroad, or you live somewhere else in the country. You haven't been able to get to London for obvious reasons and you love seeing where I walk around in London. So thank you for those comments. Today's guest is for my radio show, and I think it'll probably go on my show next week. It's a pre-record, and he's a guy called Matthew Beaumont. He has written this book, oh my gosh, I spent probably an hour and a half before going to sleep last night reading this. You can see the bookmarks, well thumbed. It's called The Walker and it's on losing and finding yourself in the modern city. So this is not about guided walks. This is not about going through forest bathing, the countryside. This is about walking through a city with no fixed goal or direction, not going from A to B, just letting your instinct taking you wherever you want. He says no step is wasted. Um, I love it because he cites people in this, like Charles Dickens, who we all know walked through the night, but I didn't know he did it, first of all, as therapy to get over the death of his dad. And then, of course, it was a way for him to construct storylines and also to see the welfare of London, the poverty, etc. I mean, his night walks are, well, he's written about them um, a lot, and he puts them into his books as well. Um, but also H.G. Wells, uh, Sylvia Plath, all these great literary figures who cite walking through cities as inspirational. Um, anyway, it goes beyond that. I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to go and meet him. And this is the book. I will put the link below. Most of what I chat about, I try and put the links below. And if you leave in the comments, sometimes you say, well, where can I find this or something? Um, I, I do try and answer every comment. But this I will uh, link below. Okay, turning this off, 
and I will see you uh, outside the BBC in W1. And then Jo will just sort of draw from a few bits of the book that she likes and we can talk about those. And probably about half an hour. Does that sound Absolutely. okay? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Right. And it's not raining. I know. I actually no. wore a hood. I wore a I've hood because I just have your old. Yeah. Should we go up here? Because this means we can head towards uh, one. Yeah, I mean, so we haven't hit winter yet, but when winter kicks in and we're all wearing scarves and hats as well as masks, we're going to be invisible to one another. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely. But you learn so much. I always think we're like a little ant army. You know, these human beings just pull things down and stick things yeah, back up. Yeah, and it yeah. is, it is quite well, amazing, isn't it? One of the buildings that we've just passed is, is the one that Dickens... Yeah, was a was a building that uh, that, that Dickens knew and that uh, and that he used, I think, as a source for the um, for for Oliver Twist. So we're very much oh. in Dickens' country here, and that's just about been saved, I think, that building. So um, everybody, this is um, this is a construction site, and we were just talking on this walk. By the way, I'm talking uh, to Matthew about walking London. You need to go to BBC Sounds. To, to hear the whole chat. But we're just by um, a demolition site and I'm trying to work out, because I walked past here last week <laughs> and I can't work out yeah, yeah. what was here. Yeah, but this yeah. seems to have happened very quickly. And you also, I was saying to Matthew, it's almost like don't build any more housing because I don't know whether this city is going to, in our lifetime, going to need any more residential places because people are moving out. Well certainly not residential places that are unaffordable to the, yeah, to the working yeah. class you know we, we know from experience. Dinner. Yes we get some dinner. Before I oh let's do this. God, what a mess. I've just come home from work and I just wanted to show you I did put this on Instagram which is this French vintage pinafore dress. So it is a pinafore dress it probably doesn't show because it just looks so dark. Um, but you can see there, that's the pinafore dress. And then this is an Agnes B uh, top underneath. Be honest with me, I think, that's it in long shot. I think my bust is now too big for a pinafore. It's weird. Can you wear a bib if you have a fairly big bust? I never used to have a big bust. Um, and I think this has just come with age. Um, I'm now quite busty. <laughs> and I never wanted to be. And I think bibs make it worse. When I'm wearing dungarees, it's fine, but I wear massive big dungarees. Um, but I think at the moment, oh God, I'm so sorry, there's, I've just dropped everything. I, all right, Matilda, do you want your, you want your dinner? Tell me what you think. Should you wear a bib with a big bust? I'm going to feed Matilda on the roof because it's a beautiful warm night. It's Monday night, by the way. I'll put you here. That's probably best. Hello, it's so early in the morning. Um, Matilda's on her chair fast asleep and I didn't sleep very well last night. I This flat has made me, I don't know what it is, I quite, somebody said in one of the comments, Joe, you are behaving differently now you're in this flat. And I think the reason is, it's far more exposed than when I was upstairs. And, um, you know, it's a fantastic flat, but as I've said, there is a lot of noise from outside. Um, and so I haven't been sleeping as well. And consequently, gosh, I'm gonna sit down in cross-legged position. That's better, in here. That's much better. Um, so consequently, um, I also haven't done any yoga 
for this is a dreadful admission i have i mean i practice yoga usually every single day i have not done any yoga for a couple of weeks and it's just because i've uh, I haven't got used to this flat to do yoga in um, online because all my yoga practice now is online. So this morning I'm going to do it um, and I know that I will feel better. I mean, I've been feeling fine anyway, but I know I will probably sleep better at night if I practice yoga in the morning. I'm also being encouraged because Yvette Sport um, has sent me a couple more items and there's nothing like wearing fantastic exercise gear to get you into the mood. So you'll probably remember this, I've worked with Yvette Sports before. Um, the tank tops, you get three in a pack. This is the rose one. But my favorite item is the high support running bra, only because the back is everything I love. When I stand behind people in my yoga class who have this top, um, I always think, how do you get into it? It's so easy, you just hook it up at the back. I'll show you it in a moment. And then there are the light support. These are the light support leggings. So all in all, it's just, it's really affordable and they're offering you discount, 15%. Um, I'll put the code underneath. And this is affordable exercise yoga gear, which is, oh, all their sizes, by the way. Because I know last time people were going, well, you're tiny, Joe, but they do plus sizes. It's a really easy chart to understand. Anyway, that's up to you if you fancy getting some. Um, I'll show you the back of this. Love it. have a quick oh gosh this music I can't stay in here otherwise I have to log this music I'm going to get a cup of tea and look who's producing today she's back Hi. don't you love the hair it is like she looks like a little angel or a mermaid it's all become very tasseled I remember when um, Elisa used to go to a hairdresser that only dealt with curls Rest the curls. And it they would lie you flat. You wouldn't put a towel near your curls. They were so precious. She's now a mother. Those days are over. So I'm now going to make a cup of tea and also get away from the music because whenever we play, oh, the music's everywhere. I'll just have to turn this off, otherwise, we have to log it. Oh gosh, I think probably this music can still be heard. Hopefully not. It's Madonna blaring out. Hopefully it can't be heard. Anyway, I feel better because I did uh, yoga this morning and I have not done yoga for so long. And I was, you know, I was thinking, well, I haven't changed. I haven't put on weight. My body hasn't changed shape or anything. Um, in actual fact, it, it, altered, it alters my mind. I get quite stressed out about stuff when I don't do yoga without knowing it. I mean, here I am. I feel fine today. I feel absolutely fine. Nothing in my life has changed. I still have the worries I had, but I did yoga. So I'm not worried about them. So, you know, truly, it's well worth it. So I just thought I'd add that, and now I better get on with the show. And um, only another half hour, and then I'm heading off home. So, ha, I'm about to go in to see the dentist, actually the hygienist, which isn't quite so <laughs> um, foreboding. And usually, I'm in Belsize Park actually, usually I either I get the bus here or if it's a really nice day and I have time, I walk here. Um, I would have had time, but I still have not been on public transport during the pandemic. Um, 
although most of my friends have and they say you know especially the buses they're quite empty but I just I don't know why because of my mum and everything I just don't want to risk going on public transport so I've driven here which is just through Regent's Park actually it doesn't take me long at all right here's a 168 look at that empty it's literally half past eight in the morning when everybody is supposed to be going to work and that bus is empty so there we go lots of traffic though um yes yeah, so i'm going into the hygienist wish me luck and this is where i think i'm going to end this week's vlog i'm back in my look i'm in my autumn gear it's very cold today um however do you remember this this is my lovely khaki safari jacket from Korea which I absolutely love and it's really thick it's keeping no wonder I never wore it in Kenya um, anyway so yes this is where I'm going to end the vlog um, thanks to all of you sticking with me thanks to all of you who have subscribed um, and if you give us a thumbs up then apparently that helps to fight the YouTube algorithms I don't even know what that means but anyway give us a thumbs up and press the bell because the bell will tell you every time I upload and I do upload in the middle of the week so uh, press the bell and it will remind you when I'm uploading if indeed you care do we have any walkers this week Philippe I'm not sure we'll find out after this have a great week see you Wednesday bye I'm walking, yeah, the day, and I'm